Hey guys, my name is Ashray from Fun FTC, and today we are here with Geared Up, uh, Team 8297 from Ashburn, Virginia, and uh, let's find out a little bit about the robot. Uh, so first off, you guys did an amazing job today. You guys were part of the winning alliance at the Oakton uh, qualifying tournament, and uh, let's find out a little bit about your robot. So let's go with your uh, uh, vertical slides. Uh, you guys have a really nice system of vertical slides. I see a lot of slides on there. Uh, why don't you guys talk a little bit about that? So we have a two-part seven-stage lift where the whole system can move up and down, and then it can move in and out as well. So this helps us to take the blocks from inside the found uh, robot and into that foundation. Um, the whole system is powered with one motor, um, so that makes it a lot easier to have maintenance or if we need to make um, an adjustment. And um, that's the main thing. Um, so one motor to bring it up and then one server to bring it out. And then we have a claw in the front to hold, lock it together. And then, yeah, so that's most of our lift. Nice. Uh, and I also see that you, a lot of your robot is uh, made of like wood. Uh, what material is that and how do you guys make it? Sure, so it's five millimeter thick plywood. Uh, we have a laser cutter that we use for it. Uh, the main reason we use wood is that it's a very light material. It also doesn't promote static charges. And it's just really easy to prototype and work with. Yep. Really awesome design. And also I see this other mechanism over here. What does this do? So this is the Skystone Grabber. Um, we've worked a lot in CAD to make sure that we could get the whole system to fold inside the robot. So it's got three servos to help it fold out, fold down, and then to grab the actual Skystone. So when we're moving it, we drop it down. It's a little bit locked up right now. But yeah. there we go. Now it drops out, and then we can pick up Skystones. And when it folds up, this part folds back, and then it locks all together and folds inside the um, envelope of the robot. So it makes sure it doesn't get injured. Really awesome design. Uh, anything software-wise, I see you guys have a Rev Blinken on here, and I also see you guys have Adometry modules down there. So what do those do? Sure. So the first main thing is uh, with the Rev LEDs, we use them for timing purposes. During the course of the game, they change color and they change pattern to alert the driver and the coach to what like what time of the game is and what the robot should be doing so we don't miss any cues, we don't miss out on scoring opportunities. Our odometry modules are encased inside the robot. Uh, we use an absolute magnetic MA3 encoder to track our distance over time. We're able to achieve an accuracy of about a quarter inch over 12 feet, and this is repeatable in two axes simultaneously. Uh, Jonathan, can you put it back down its wheels? Yeah, and the final main thing is, if I flip it around, in the side of cutout of the robot, you'll see there's a uh, Logitech C270 webcam recess inside the frame. Our phones are running a uh, OpenCV uh, processing engine that's running a uh, hue saturation and value filter mask over the background. So everything that's not yellow is blacked out, which allows your system to find the quarry vertically and then determine the location of each of the stones within that line. That's some really awesome stuff. My name is Ashri from Fun FTC and uh, signing out. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.